when I was first diagnosed, I was told I had six months to live. I was just like, okay, we gotta fix it. I wasn't thinking, okay, death is an option. I started treatment. The first two days of chemo were horrible. With radiation, I was just very weak, very tired. And there were times where I would just sit and be pissed off. A year into treatment, I asked my doctor, I'm like, so when am I gonna be done? She told me that not only did the cancer come back, it had metastasized to my bones. She's like, we're treating you for quality of life. So once I kind of got past that, I decided that, okay, I'm living with cancer. I'm not fighting cancer anymore. I'm living with cancer. And that's when everything kind of changed, my, my whole thought process. Like, I was no longer going to just listen and hear what doctors were going to tell me to do. So I ended up trying kickboxing, and I fell in love with it. I had hyped it up to be like, like a Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee type movie, like it was gonna be crazy. But it's been a way to get out, I guess, whatever has been inside of me. I was never an angry person, but I think, sh I'm sure people watch me and are like, this girl's gonna blow up at some point. The kickboxing was the first time I actually said I'm taking matters in my own hand. When I told my doctor though, wow, she was not happy. And then I was like, listen, let's agree to disagree, because I promise you, if I feel like I'm doing too much, if I hurt myself, I'll stop. And you know, it's been four years and I haven't hurt myself. Treatment is your defense, right? But I'm trying to work on my offense. <laughs>